Hey guys, my name is Midnight here with my third video, I believe. My Rubik's Cube tutorial set videos. Is this camera zoomed in? Hold on, wait a minute. Nope. Oh, whoop. Okay, well, anyways, this will be going over advanced notations, which you will not need if you're using the regular beginner's method. I will be going over in the next couple of videos before more advanced begin for before advanced beginners method and Friedrich method you will need to know these. <clears throat> so let's begin. Okay, so the advanced notations I will be going over there are six primary advanced notations you need to know. So the first oh, please, hold on. the first advanced notation you will need to know is the X turn. So basically, if I have F as my front and right as my top, like this, an X notation would essentially be the same as a right notation, except you turn the entire cube. So instead of just turning it like this, right? No. Instead of turning it like this, you would turn the entire cube. So you would make the bottom face towards you. And rather, so in this case, yellow is my bottom. So I turn it facing towards me. Then do whatever notations I needed to do. The second advanced notation is a right, is a right turn. That is very similar to the X turn. Except instead of turning it right, you'd turn it up. So a up notation is as so, so turn the entire cube making your left your front. The third advanced notation for orienting the cube is the Z notation. The Z notation is essentially a front notation but once again with the entire cube. So you keep the same front but your top instead of being white would become red. <coughs> Your next three advanced notations involve moving this center layer. The center layer. Your first one would be your M notation. In that notation you will move the layer between the right and the left. So this one. And you will move it in an F notation formation. So, as so. Your second one would be an E turn. And you would move the one between your U and your D, so this one, in the form of a D notation. So, like so. Your final one would be an S turn. You would move the one between your F and B in the form of an F notation. So, like so. And then if you were to view that from the side, or from the top. So you simply move the layer in between in one of the coordinate ways. So M from the front, from the top, and from the left. E from the front. From the top, from the left, finally S from the front, from the top, and from the left. And then to recap, your X is in the move of a R turn, so so from the front, um, from the top, and from the left. Your U or your Y is in the form of a U turn. Right? No, form of a U turn. So from the front. From the top, 
and from the left. And finally, once again, use the turn, which is in the form of an F turn. So from the front, from front, from the top. And from the left. Those are advanced notations that you will need to know for the Rubik's Cube. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. My name is Renee Rutten Knight, Nemo.